Again, I'd like to move on to another topic that will uh, be a matter of great interest to every lawyer in the room, the Law Library of Victoria. We have a photograph here of a significant moment last year, uh, the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding. It is a landmark agreement uh, involving the heads of jurisdiction, the president of the Law Institute of Victoria, the chairman of the Victorian Bar and the Attorney General. Essentially, its ultimate achievement will be the provision of desktop access for every lawyer in Victoria. You might refer back to when you were admitted to practice. You might recall it cost a bit of money, particularly for a young lawyer. One of the things you had to pay was a library fee. That fee was actually your share in the Supreme Court Library. Currently, with present funding, the continuation of the library to provide an adequate service to you as lawyers and to the judges who use it is unsustainable. The Law Library of Victoria project will provide a way of ensuring that the courts have the facility that they have to be able to deliver the judgments, but you, the litigators, will have the instantaneous resource that you ought to have and that you pay for and have paid for on the occasion of your admission. Already uh, there is an, ad uh, an advisory board that has been established. The President of the Law Institute is there with the other heads of jurisdiction and I have the privilege to uh, chair that body. I would acknowledge in the audience this afternoon a member of the Law Institute uh, on the Supreme Court Library Committee and uh, a, a, a replacement uh, for the President when he can't attend advisory board meetings, Mr Tom May. Uh, he has been so devoted to uh, the achievement of the Law Library of Victoria, it has been a wonderful contribution.